Hello from the Space Zone, where I'm sitting with Lee Seward. She's Head of Marketing, Earth Observation, Navigation and Science. Hello Lee, thank you for joining us today. Nice to be here. What we have here behind us is the ExoMars rover, which has been attracting hundreds of visitors during this week. What can you tell us about these prototype Bridgets? So Bridget was the first prototype we ever built with, at Airbus and was designed to test some of the really new technologies, the wheels, the suspension system, to help us develop the ExoMars rover. Since then we have some new ones in our Mars yard in Stevenage, but Bridget is still used to do testing. We've done some sample handling, but the coolest thing we've done recently is Tim Peake has driven Bridget from the International Space Station. He's the British ESA astronaut, and he's been in the space zone this morning meeting loads of people and met Bridget again. Yeah, we've seen him around and he's also been attracting a lot of visitors here. And the ExoMars uh, goal is to find organic material on Mars in particular from the early history of the Red Planet. What are your expectations on the 2020 ExoMars mission? So the Americans have a couple of rovers and you could say they've sent a geologist and a chemist and ExoMars will be the biologist. And as you say, we're, we're looking for life or signs of life um, Mars, it doesn't have an atmosphere like we do, it's very thin and it doesn't have the same magnetic field, so it's not protected like Earth, which means the sun's radiation kills off any signs of life on the surface. So the unique thing about ExoMars is it will have a drill to drill two meters below the surface, so we can find samples that have been protected and are very old, and we can look for either life itself, and we're talking microbes and bacteria, microscopic life, or signs of life, evidence that there was once life there. And if we find that, that'll be a huge step forward for science, our understanding of the solar system, and it'll be really exciting. It will, indeed. Thank you very much for this interesting interview.